Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're talking about a name you probably know, Nikola Tesla. But forget just knowing the name. This guy was less an inventor, more like a real-life wizard wielding the power of electricity. Born way back in 1856, in what's now Croatia, Tesla possessed a mind that operated on a different frequency. It wasn't just about being brilliant. Many described him as having an almost uncanny connection to the universe's underlying principles. He spoke of experiencing intense flashes of light, followed by vivid, detailed visions. Here's where it gets truly mind-bending. Tesla claimed he could visualize his inventions with absolute clarity in his mind before ever drawing a sketch or building a prototype. Think of it like having advanced CAD software, computer-aided design, running entirely inside his head. He said he could mentally construct, test, and even refine complex devices, seeing every gear, wire, and dimension function perfectly within this mental laboratory. This extraordinary ability allowed him to leapfrog conventional design processes and conceptualize machines far ahead of their time. Armed with this unique mental toolkit, Tesla arrives in America, sparks fly, literally, and he ends up in an epic showdown with none other than Thomas Edison. It was the War of Currents. Edison backed DC direct current. Tesla, visualizing the potential he'd already explored in his mind, championed AC, alternating current. Spoiler alert, look around your house. Pretty much everything runs on AC. Tesla won that round, and it fundamentally changed how we power the world. But powering homes wasn't Tesla's biggest dream. Oh no, fueled by those profound insights, he aimed higher, much higher. All right, so let's enter the Wardenclyffe Tower. Picture this for a second. It's Long Island, New York, in the early 1900s. Tesla starts building this colossal, mushroom-shaped tower that reaches nearly 190 feet into the sky. Honestly, it looked like something straight out of science fiction. A physical manifestation of those intricate mental blueprints he was famous for. So, what was this giant structure actually for? Officially, it was meant for transatlantic wireless communication, sending messages across the ocean and, you know, beating Marconi to the punch. But Tesla, Tesla, guided by his deeper understanding, had a grander, secret, ambition kind of whispered within its framework. He believed Wardenclyffe was the key to wireless power transmission. Not just sending signals, but actually sending electricity through the air, tap from the earth itself, probably based on principles he'd already fully realized in his visions. Just imagine power available anywhere on the globe, wirelessly, potentially, for free. Think about that for a second. No more power lines crisscrossing everywhere. Clean energy pulled directly from the environment, accessible to everyone, regardless of wealth or location. It could have powered industries, homes, maybe even vehicles, without costly infrastructure or fuel. Talk about changing the world. It would have been an unbelievable blessing, potentially solving energy poverty, and drastically reducing pollution decades, maybe even a century, before we started seriously worrying about it. A true gift, born from a mind connected to something vast. But it wasn't meant to be. The project was incredibly ambitious and expensive. Tesla's main backer, the powerful banker J.P. Morgan, got nervous. Was it the technical challenge? 
Or maybe the idea of free energy wasn't exactly appealing to a man who profited from controlling resources. Funding dried up. Tesla's visionary dream stalled. The magnificent Wardenclyffe Tower, his beacon of a possible future, stood unfinished for years before tragically being dismantled and sold for scrap in 1917 to pay off debts. Tesla died years later, brilliant but relatively poor, leaving behind countless patents and ideas, radio, remote control, robotics, and of course, the AC system that powers our lives. But that biggest dream, the dream of free, wireless energy for all, born from those incredible mental visions, remained locked away in the ghost of Wardenclyffe. So, Nikola Tesla, genius, madman, a visionary ahead of his time, definitely the last one. He possessed a unique way of seeing the world, tapping into something profound to visualize and create. He saw a future powered differently, a future connected wirelessly in ways we're only fully realizing now. And while his grandest dream didn't come true, it reminds us of the power of imagination, the mysteries of the human mind, and the incredible possibilities that spark within a brilliant soul. What do you think the world would look like if Wardenclyffe Tower Project had succeeded and he was able to broadcast free electricity around the planet? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this glimpse into the electrifying mind of Tesla, hit that like button and subscribe for more stories from scientific history mixed in with some current events and other fun things related to tech and AI. See you next time.